Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another action figure review. Looking at another Disney toy box figure today. Um, this one arrived from from Shop Disney UK. It's the only way we can get them down here in Australia. Uh, yeah, this is a birthday gift, so I'm pretty excited. I like these figures a lot. Um, and yeah, Wrecker being my favourite member of the Bad Batch, it was a no-brainer. <clears throat> I didn't know my wife was getting it for me, but she surprised me. She knows me too well. And uh, yeah, this one looks pretty damn good. Not good. Again, these figures are sort of loosely based on sort of animation style of the Disney Infinities game. That's basically where the figures got their start. And yeah, they're sort of just sporadically continued the line after that. So yeah, Wrecker's the first member of the Bad Batch to get one. I'm not sure whether there are any others on the way. I guess we'll wait and see. I think it would be cool to sort of see the whole Bad Batch crew. At least the original four. Um, in this sort of accentuated animated style. I think it's really cool. I'm digging it. I do love Wrecker's helmet. I just love it. So yeah, he comes with his blaster here, which looks nice. Nicely sculpted. Might actually even be a little bit bigger than the Black Series one. I could be wrong. It does come with his knife, which is in the sheath on his shin there. On the side of his shin. So that fits in there nicely. And he does have his backpack on the back, which isn't removable. Yes, it is. <laughs> I just worked it out. It is removable. It's a Disney store. London Disney trading. Something or other. Yada, yada, yada. So yeah, I was... No, it actually comes up quite easily. I was goofing around with it yesterday. I was thinking, no, nah, that's, that's stuck on there. And uh, no, nah, it just needed that little bit more of a budge. But uh, the cool thing is, they didn't do this with the Black Series one, or Hasbro didn't do it. And if I pick up the gun off the floor, that'll be a whole lot easier. <laughs> um, is that it does actually sort of just peg into the back of the backpack, which is fantastic. Either way. And even on the side here. Which is super awesome. Uh, that's just a great feature, I feel like. They really missed out on the Black Series versions doing that. So yeah, that works out really well. The fact they're giving you two options is super cool. So overall the sculpt's pretty nice on the figure. It's, yeah, again, it's that sort of ex extreme sort of animated style. So the same sort of body sizes like um, Buzz Lightyear or something. But yeah, paint ups are really nice and clean all over. Sort of scratched up weathering on the chest armor and stuff's really nice. Bad Batch logo there on the shoulder looks good. Sort of scuffing off the armor there on the on the knee plates. Yeah, it's not all over the whole figure. Um, just, yeah, knees, uh, chest, shoulders. So they haven't gone completely overboard. But yeah, they've sort of just taken a... You know, they're sort of the standout features of the figure, I guess, where they've put that sort of weathering in detail, which is nice. But yeah, there's some, just something about these figures, which is just really cool there. They're just a fun little line to collect. And I recently got, uh, you know, the last one I got was the Mandalorian, which is which was pretty cool. And I did do a review of that a few months back. It may have even been longer than that. <clears throat> but yeah, articulation. Uh, it's got a hinge there in the head. It's a swivel and a hinge that's probably a little bit tight and probably reasonably limited just because of the armor, but it, it's, it's there. Um, ball hinge in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows and wrists, uh, waist joint there, 
ball hinge in the thighs, ball hinge in the knees and ankles as well. So yeah, pretty well articulated, nicely done. And, uh, I did get this for my birthday too, it was a big wrecker mug. So these two displayed side by side <laughs> is perfect for me. So that's, that's awesome. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm digging these figures. I think they're really cool. They're just nice little bonuses to sort of get every now and then. Just cool little different collectibles for the, for the collection, which is cool. Always do like that sort of odd random sort of thing. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.